hi guys welcome to digital tech join uh, in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to upgrade your project having dotnet framework 4.8 or older version to the latest dotnet framework that is 7.0 or 8.0 now i was working on visual studio 2022 and this is a project that is uh, which is currently in progress and i'm doing a invoicing system uh, a real world invoicing system using win forms windows form and i realized that okay, my dotnet framework is uh, 4.8 and i wanted to upgrade that to 7.0 or 8.0 now i have both the frameworks installed 7.0 as well as 8.0 and i was actually trying to upgrade it and then i realized that for upgrade we need certain tools to upgrade it now i'll just uh, just uh, run this project once just to show you the uh, a preview of what I'm going to develop. So this is basically a WinForms desktop based application where we'll have login and where we'll have various modules right from uh, products uh, till managing your customers and then finally managing your invoice, adding invoice and printing the invoice. So this is a very um, uh, desktop based simple invoicing system which you can use for your college project as well as this can be used uh, this can be downloaded and used in the real uh, life in stores as well for manage, managing your pause or um, generating invoice for retail store etc so right now this project is in progress and i need to complete the reporting part of this and once it is completed this will be available in various sites and it will be available also on youtube uh, for my subscribers as well as my users to go through those videos and I'll walk you through the entire uh, journey of creating a desktop based application now let's go get back to the topic the topic was I wanted to upgrade it so in order to upgrade any project which you are currently working which is on older framework what you need to do is go to visual studio there is something called extension click on manage extension and then you type in dotnet upgrade and here you can see there's a dot in upgrade so this is what this extension required um, what I'm going to do is click on view on browser and download it from here and it's getting downloaded and this is a file that uh, I'm going to use it so this is getting installed so this is the extension gets installed we will have an option in our visual studio to upgrade to the latest dotted version so let's wait while it is it's installing okay so we click on install and now it is installing all the components so i guess we need to shut down the visual studio yes okay now it is installing the dotnet upgrade assistant So the .NET upgrade assistant is successfully installed. Now let's open the project. Visual Studio 2022. The easy invoice project, which is a WinForms desktop based application. Here is the project, which is currently in .NET version 4.8. I'll just show it to you before I upgrade. There's a property and here you can see it's 4.8. Now let's right click on the project and select the option to upgrade. Here's the option to upgrade. I click on upgrade and here you can see welcome to upgrade assistance. So here the first option upgrade project to Neo dotted version and I want to select this. And in place upgrade means this will upgrade in the existing project. Otherwise, if you want to create a new project and upgrade there, you can also do that. I could like to upgrade that in my in uh, in my current project because I don't want to work with 4.8 version. So I'm going to select in place upgrade and I click on next. Here you can see it is prompting which version do you want to go with. So I will definitely go with the .NET 8.0 because I could uh, take the advantage of the latest features and if you like to know what are the latest features and uh, some of the cool features of dotnet version 8.0 then definitely visit my channel which has uh, uh, videos on latest features of dotnet which is 2022 where i'm taking the advantage of dotnet 8.0 and i've shown certain cool features that are available that you should need to explore so let's select dotnet 8.0 and click on next 
and here it will uh, select all the components which will be undergo upgrade and I click on upgrade and the upgrade is happening now this will also show you the status of upgrade so here you can see it is already it's upgrading real-time basis and it is it successfully upgraded all these components and wherever you see an expression mark there's some issue with that but let's uh, first run let the system run and do the upgrade so here you can see most of the components are getting upgraded successfully especially the win forms and the class files okay so it's not upgraded crystal uh, decision which i don't require so all this related to the crystal report is i is something that i'll not be requiring so i'll not bother in fact i'll go ahead and remove those dependency from my project because i will not be using crystal report but i'll be using dot uh, net data report uh, further in this project so i don't need to worry about all these things so you can see uh, only one field that is a crystal report and rest all is successfully done so uh, my upgrade is successfully done so that's good now what I'm going to do is that right click on this project and select property and here you can see my project is successfully upgraded now I'm getting an option to select dotnet 8.0 or dotnet 7.0 so basically I'm going to select dotnet 8.0 and also will rebuild the project once So all these things that is failing is because of the crystal report uh, library that I'm going to remove it. And uh, so basically the, this is a report viewer. So there is something called report viewer I had developed. I had, so I'm going to delete that because this is not required. So this is option called exclude from the project. I exclude that and now let's rebuild again our latest .NET framework 8.0 project okay so this is the Excel uh, component this too is an up outdated uh, code that I, it is there so I'm just I'm going to also go ahead and remove this so I don't need this code Yes, so my project is successfully built now. It is upgraded to 8.0 from 7.8 and I just run the project as well. Great, so it is successfully uh, um, getting executed. Here I am able to open my models and add my new products and everything. So that's great so now i have used this upgrade assistant in uh, winform that is a desktop is application but definitely if you are working with uh, asp.net mvc application which is using older framework that is 4.8 or something i need to upgrade you need to use a simple approach and mechanism and upgrade your project so thanks guys thanks for watching this quick uh, video and uh, please do subscribe and uh, subscribe my channel and share my channel links with your friends colleagues and family members so that you can uh, help me to increase my uh, subscribers and my users thank you so much for your time